Whoa! This is... This is a letter, an open letter, to Dr. Mark Kastner at MIT. Hello, Dr. Kastner. I'm a private research in the study of electro electrical fields and their composition in relation to the organization of atomic shells and nuclei. I studied resonation of atomic vibration and their reactivity to entraining and harassing electromagnetic waves and fields. This study, which I privately spearheaded, led other researchers to master alchemical wave reactions in early 2007. I'm interested in your position on the possibility of electrons being the condensation or stabilization of an electrical or quantum potentiality field. I theorize that electrons and other atomic energies are symptomatic particle condensations forming from electrical or quantum fields of possibility. An electrical circuit can be measured along wire, but an electrical field is found around it. Similarly, I believe electrons and other subatomic particles and condensations or stabilizing loops of certain kinds of fields relating to string theory. These field effects or unwound strings occurring or progressing more rapidly and with less patternist movement than is easily detectable by our machines. An electron, then, would be a string winding around a terminally attractive condensation point in opposition with a proton, itself a series of terminal condensations. If we can adjust the ways these strings condense, we may be able to tie and untie matter from strings, defeating the law of conservation of matter, but preserving and underscoring a new law relating to an underlying field effect or environment of strings which, under the right conditions, can teleport particles down the rope or down fields. This would make the conventional laws of physics basically the self-friction of the string while it maintains its stable looping patterns. If you want to move a knot down a string, it's going to take you a long time. You're going to experience a substantial amount of resistance. But if you just wave the thing along or wave the information of the knot along, that's a different story. Profileless or aphysical strings would be the background of any field of existence and formulate an unwound but charged and uniformly resonating field. This also would be the basis of all laws of physics interaction with these strings. Alchemical reactions would be field vibrational effects presented to the loop, to the string loops of stable matter as detected by CERN in August 2006, noting the string shape of a muon and causing the loops to change their terminal stabilities into a new energy formation. This link has been demonstrated by John Kansas changing HOH into HHO using RF at this link in summer 2007 link. It is also likely was demonstrated by Stanley Meyer through a direct charge in the 1990s while John Kansas' effect uses waves instead of direct electrical signal. Other companies have prospered in using microwaves to change plastic back into oil, adjusting the molecular bond. It may be possible to use electromagnetic wave or special intra-atomic wave frequencies or a pro-generation of these frequencies in special chemical or atomic arrangements this is dangerous. To designate an, designate an electron or other subatomic components into strings or to condense one from the field or to string or destring an entire atom or molecule. This is the way fission works. It's also the way fusion works, interestingly. That might not be true, but it is the way fission works, which is a geometric effect of the internal subatomic. This is dangerous. Look at Paney. Transporting them through field, um, transporting them through space by field rather than signal may be another benefit of this theory. A component of stabilized material must glide along the string hole, as I described before. The interstring attraction limiting its motion while sending the information by field down the string as a wave could maintain all data and also reformulate the wave into particles at the destination, possibly without any friction or a non-existent or lax physical law. Furthermore, this is quite probably what happens to create heat as an ambient string wave level produced from glide friction by motion. This could allow the heat loss to be recaptured or bypassed in special arrangements. 100% efficiency may actually be possible. The universe might not eventually degrade into an uncondensed ball of heat. We also may be able to recapture some of this heat in interesting ways. Would you be interested in developing experiments along these lines? Dr. Kastner, responding. Dr. William Bunker, enjoy.